Hey. I'm Louis and I play mandolin. I'm Noah and I play... What do I play? Guitar. <laughs> I'm Patrick and I play the banjo. And we're Craig. Three members. Yeah, three <laughs> members. Co collectively, we are Craig. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, is, is the name of, are you Craig or are you Craig three members? I mean, what's... It's, it's it, up to the public, but no, no, but we like to enforce... <laughs> no, no, no. The three no, no. members is in brackets. It's part yeah, of the no, no. official. Let's clear so it up. Craig, it's Craig, bracket, three members. Uh, yeah. I, like, right. I, like, I, like, I like public interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want to be too strict. So where does the Craig come from? Where's, what are the origins of that? Um, we just kind of thought it was kind of hilarious for three guys to call themselves Craig as a band. But it's been good because people like to get their own meaning from Craig. Mm. We learned that in Irish, Craig means loud and boisterous. So I reckon that... Yeah, which really captures our sound perfectly. <laughs> yeah. so. It's pretty lucky. I took it as a South Park reference, but that's... Oh. What's that? Yeah, what's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah it's go. perfect. Public interpretation. Of what's yeah. that South Park episode? Well, there's just a character named Craig in South Park. Oh, is that? Oh, God. Yeah, okay, yeah. nice. <laughs> you may be watching too much South Park. <laughs> <laughs> He's in every episode. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll You're not watching enough. Yeah. yeah. You're not watching that's enough. It, man. Maybe that's it. Maybe I should get into <laughs> the South Park. Too quick to judge. <laughs> well, congratulations on, uh, on on winning the busing competition. So you won the under-18s busing competition. Yeah, the drama one. So I, from, from hearing people talking before, it sounds like you just genuinely didn't expect that at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a really sick band called the Black Harrys that went into the competition um, up from Melbourne. And they were just so tight and such crisp musicians and we were frothing them. But we were surprised and stoked to hear that we won. <laughs> and now you're sitting back here backstage with all these amazing musicians. Uh, I mean, mm. what's it like being you know, <coughs> surrounded by, by this? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's a sick setup. But You don't often get to see this side of the Blues Fest. <laughs> yeah. Any anyone that you've spotted, any musicians that you're like, what? Uh, haven't okay. been back here we, we've long. Been here, like this is our first day. We kind of <laughs> just rocked up, played the gig, and strutted back here. But well, I'm sure we'll see a couple fellas around, a couple of sick names. So what does winning mean? I mean, what do you what what, you, what happens now? I guess. Um, well, we won a recording prize at Studio 301 with an amazing producer called Nick Didio. So yeah, we just got to wait till we get a good single, and then we'll get in the studio with him. Yeah. So tell us, tell us how you know how Craig started. Well, we um, have a band called Potato Potato, which is kind of like another project that we've been doing gigs around the Shire with. And then Craig was just kind of like a little separation project from that, where we just got very inspired and went on the streets of Byron and just yelled hillbilly tunes. <laughs> so and then we just I don't know, continued through that, and we thought it would be the perfect busking band to enter a busking competition. So we just went in it. How did you, how do you enter these competitions? Do, you, do you, is there a, is there a process? I think there's like a tour. Yeah, like a twelve dollar <laughs> entry fee. Man. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was hard to rust yeah, we neglected to pay that, that till after weeks we won. To bust for. <laughs> <laughs> so, you you mentioned that you know now you've got to get a single together and you've got to you've got to do all that. So, <clears throat> how does that process start? Do you already have an idea of? You know, imagine you've got a you've got a bunch of songs already under your belt. Um, Noah's written a few good ones lately, which we could use. But yeah, I don't know. We haven't really talked about it. I think we have the sound that we're going for. It's just about putting those sounds together and creating a finished product. So, what do you think it was that set you apart? What do you, you know, if you could, if you could pinpoint something that maybe set you apart from everyone else, is there anything that you can point to? It's got to be our inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> like, but when we drive to the gigs, we just like blast tunes and get so inspired and we just by the time we're there we just can't wait to get on stage like real uplifting ones uplifting, like Mumford yeah. and Sons to the max <laughs> and then we just yell you put, you put the cave on and you just like, yeah 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 that's <clears> it <throat> how's that for an inspiration grunt yeah it's good it's good <laughs> so so if we want to check you guys out how can we how can we do that <laughs> Do you, do you have a Facebook page? Do, do we just need to find you on the streets of Byron Bay? I think that's the best way. Actually. Yeah. Um, our, our main project, Potato Potato, is easy to find. That's kind of what I'm focusing on. But yeah, Craig, we just got to go straight to the streets. Yeah. Straight, straight to the streets. Well, guys, congratulations on winning, and uh, it'll be interesting, as always, with these sorts of things. It'll be interesting to see what comes next for you. So, oh, thanks thank for you. taking the time to talk to us today. Sweet. Thanks, nice. man. Thanks, man.